Cyrus, so I see that you're preparing for your next great long, pretty long beach sale. Uh, we're here at the National Money Show, and you have a pretty wide selection of ancient world and U.S. coins and uh, related kind of numismatic objects. And I was hoping we sit down and you could give me some highlights of what's going to be in the sale. I'd be happy to. Our sale will take place June 4th through June 7th, and we will have a, a variety of different collections. Uh, there will be part two of the uh, Dr. Brody family collection of Jewish coins. In addition to his fabulous collection of ancient Jewish coins, there will be all his modern Israel and Palestine mandate, and all the Judaica and related subjects. Outside of that, we'll be selling starting with uh, U.S. colonial coins, Dr. Hurd's collection of, uh, of U.S. colonials. The first one uh, that I brought to point out is the earliest American colonial coin, and it is the famous pine tree shell. These were struck in 1652, and struck for several years afterwards. But this is probably the most famous uh, coin most often seen and most thought of are the, uh, the pine tree shillings. And this is actually a colonial coin that did have some success circulating in yes, the colonies. Yes, it, it had a lot of success, and this is nice and round, and uh, uh, it's associated with uh, the earliest American coinage. We'll be selling his large sense also, which is a complete set of the Red Book varieties uh, of the uh, coins from 1793, the earliest uh, large set. 1857. So all the coins that are listed in the Red Book by date and variety will be in this uh, sale. And it's a registered sale. And you also have a superlative set of middle date large sets. We'll be selling Manuel Mata's collection of uh, middle date large sets from uh, 1816 to uh, 1839. And the quality is just fantastic. It is uh, probably the finest middle date set quality-wise that we have ever handled. And uh, I'm brought here to show you a 1834 full blazing red uh, color and it's PCGS MF65+. Plus. All of his coins are uh, PCGS graded and uh, many of them are the finest to, to exist. So we'll be selling uh, a Mata's collection and uh, then uh, we have a regular run of uh, American coins. And not to be excluded from that is a huge 92 ounce gold nugget. I mean, this thing is just, can you imagine finding this? This was found in Western Australia and is one of the largest gold nuggets ever found in its natural state. And this nugget has brought a lot of attention here to the show. It's just, it's real, really heavy. And uh, we figure it's probably 90% or better of pure gold. So it's one of the largest nuggets ever found. And uh, along with that, we'll be selling the Eckfield collection of gold coins, medals, and historical documents. And we're gonna, we decided to sell it all as one lot. Uh, because to break it down just didn't do the collection justification. It's, it's been uh, exhibited before, and uh, it's been, it was shown as recently as uh, uh, 2014 as an exhibit. But this will be the complete collection, including this medal of Eckfield. He was the coiner. He was the chief coiner of the U.S. Mint uh, from uh, uh, up until 1839 when he died. And this was a presentation, a uh, farewell tribute to him, to Adam Eckfeld, and this is the only one in existence. So this presented uh, to the fellow officers of the U.S. Mint in 1839 when he retired. We're going to sell his other two medals, all the mint documents, such as Andrew Jackson's appointment of Adam Eckfield as chief coiner of the mint, and then we have uh, uh, F uh, Fillard, uh, uh, Mildred Fillmore, his appointment to uh, uh, Eckfield as to be uh, director of the mint. So all the, the family uh, of 
the Eckfield family was involved in the U.S. Mint from 1804 until, uh, really until uh, the 1900s, there was an Eckfield at the U.S. Mint. And the, so we, and the Eckfield family was responsible for the creation of the U.S. Mint cap. They played a big role in that. Yes, yes they did. And that, because the family stayed together, uh, they all, you know, it, it, it's nice to have this entire archive sold intact. Uh, we're going to we'll offer it unreserved as are all the other coins in this particular auction. They're all going to be out in reserve. And then we have a fine English collection of, uh, of gold coins that we'll be offering. And this is one of them. This is a Henry VIII, probably the most famous king of England, Henry VIII. And this is the finest specimen I've ever seen. It's graded mint state 62, but it's perfectly round. It's all the legends are complete and intact, which you just don't see in hammer coins. And that beautiful design of the of the uh, of the rose on the back, uh, and because uh, the Tudor rose, which it was known for, and this medieval art, Teutonic art, is just exquisite. So very proud of, uh, of the coins that we'll have in this auction, and I, I think it'll be well attended. And if uh, you can't make it to the Long Beach or pre-Long Beach festivities, you can register to bid online. Yes, all the coins will be online, and you can get a photo if you call and ask us and say that you saw, you've seen this uh, uh, on the computer. We'll be happy to send the catalog. Great. Well, Ira, thanks for sharing these with me. Very exciting. Thank you. Thank you for having me.